the chant that we did just now is a common feature in Thai funerals, Burmese funerals, Sri Lankan funerals. Everywhere there's Theravada. This is a chant that's repeated again and again. And one of the lines is, all beings die, have died, will die, I too will die. I have no doubt about that. The purpose of this is not to get you depressed, but to get you heedful. There's a sutta where the Buddha talks about, he calls five deva messengers, messengers from the devas into the human world. They tell us to be heedful. An old person, a sick person, a dead body, a newborn infant, and a criminal being tortured. When you see any of these things, you're supposed to stop and think. I too am subject to aging, I'm subject to illness, subject to death. And I haven't gone beyond rebirth. You look at that baby infant. In some ways that's the scariest of all. Because old people, sick people, most often will have somebody looking after them. With dead people there's somebody to take care of the body. But when you're newly born you have no guarantee that there's going to be anybody to take care of you. You're lucky if your parents look after you. You're totally helpless. And that's a position that we can be in very easily. As for the criminal being tortured, the Buddha says, you realize if there are people here on earth who don't escape punishment for their misdeeds, then there's a possibility of punishment after death. Now those two, the possibility of being reborn, the possibility of punishment after death, for most of us those are pretty uncertain. We don't know for sure. We have the testimony of the Buddha and his noble disciples that, yes, it is true. But the fact that we're unsure, that makes us even more afraid to think even about death. There's so much we don't know, we figure that, well, just put it out of your mind and live your life as if it's not going to happen. But that's a heedless life. And the whole purpose of these Deva messages is to get you to be heedful, to think about the consequences of your actions, that what you do will have an impact. And as long as you're taking birth, you're going to be getting old, getting sick, and dying again and again and again. It might be good to try to find a way out. So these are the things you think about when you see one of those heavenly messengers. There's a lot of dangers all around in this human realm. And as it turns out, the most dangerous ones are your own mind, thoughts in the mind, emotions in the mind, urges in the mind. Those are the things you really got to look after. If unskillful urges arise, at the very least, make sure you don't act on them. And do your best to get the mind to think in opposite ways, ways that are skillful, that is helpful to yourself, helpful to others. When you do that's when you've got the message, and you take it to heart. <laughs>